All right, ladies and gentlemen, today what I'm gonna do, I was gonna cut a new handle, but I found this uh, this last weekend down in Canton, or not Canton, uh, Bowie, Texas. And I've been wanting a, a, an aluminum or a metal handle. Well, I found one. The only thing is the blade on this one is not that good. So, We'll take the blade off the wooden one that's broke. And most of you guys aren't going to use, most guys don't use these kind of sheetrock saws. I use them, and the reason I use them, and I cannot, certain areas I work, I can't create dust. So I cannot use a, uh, I can't use a power uh saw, dremel, whatever you want to cut sheetrock with. Cut your electrical boxes, cut your access holes. Uh, I have to cut it by hand to keep the dust down to a minimum, if not nothing. Uh, if you guys have ever worked in an area where you cannot create dust, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And so I'm gonna keep these little brass screws but I'm gonna keep the saw blade swap out blades this blades in good shape it's sharp this blade is not you can feel it's dull right through here it's it. I don't know what they tried to cut, but you can definitely feel the dullness in about the uh, about two inches right there. So this blade's in good shape. It's really sharp. So I'm going to use it on this. But first, before I go any further, let's save these so I don't lose them. Little brass screws. Set them aside. Now I need to clean this off. This is one that's definitely going to work with me. I have regular sheetrock saws, you know, the shorty ones that they sell, but I wanted, I want one that, uh, for one, that will have a longer stroke. Like I said, in certain areas I work, I can't create dust, so I have to cut everything by hand. I have to keep everything to a minimum. So, that's why when I saw this, I thought, I know what I'm gonna do with this. This is going to work. Might even polish this up a little bit just to see what it looks like. Wonder what it looks like polished. Yeah, this is aluminum, so it's or cast aluminum. And I've never heard of compass saws, so who knows? Let's try to see how it's casting. All right, let's see what the polish looks like now. Throw that on the polishing wheel.
nothing fancy throw a little wax on it call it good so this is uh, definitely going to work with me this I will use I could have actually used this the other day I've got another one at work but it's got a real flimsy blade on it it's uh I'm not real fond of it but anyways now I got a good one well one that I like this is probably I just polished it just because I could didn't need it I mean I could have uh, probably could have put it on the fiber belt and got all the nicks and stuff out of it but I didn't want to do that. One, I'm limited on time. And two, this thing's gonna get nicked up as soon as I get to work. I go back to work tomorrow and I am going to be busy. I already know. It's pretty bad when you already know what your day's gonna be like. been at the same facility this August be 35 years most people don't stay at a, their job for 10 years anymore anyways you know I never I didn't notice it but uh, one screw is longer than the other try to find one a little shorter. I guess I could cut it off. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. My dollar tool. I bought this, like I said, at, uh, down in Bowie, Texas last weekend. They had their trade days down there. I only bought like five little things and this was one of them. It's, there's the rest of that wooden one. There's the handle off, the, or the blade off the other. And this blade's bad. I got me a nice little saw. Like I said, I use these. Most people do not use these type of blades anymore to cut sheetrock. Uh, I do, like I said, you're working in a facility where you have to keep your dust down to almost nothing you can't use a power saw you can't use a, an oscillating tool uh, I sometimes have to cut by hand and have somebody hold the vacuum while I'm cutting just to keep the dust from almost non-existent it uh, people don't realize you have to have your dust to a minimum in certain areas there's certain things certain places you just can't you can't use power tools all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, not much. Chicago Specialty Manufacturing Company, and it's Compass Saw, here. Compass Saw number 3330. Nice hand, this, way better than these wooden handles. Anyways, guys, Thumbs up, thumbs down, tell me what you think. If you like the video, if you like it, this will be a short one. Most of my videos are long anyways. And I didn't have to polish this, I just wanted to practice and play. So, plus it looks good. Looks better than what it did. Alright, y'all have a good day.